You guys wouldn't believe how many times I did this. So if you see other lives on my page, I don't know if they're public or not, but I can see them from um, like my page. Just disregard those ones. Um, I'll get them down soon. All right, so let's pray and let's get right into this video. Dear Heavenly Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus, Lord. I thank you for this day, Lord. I just ask that you speak through me to your people, God. Just give them the encouragement that they need at this moment, Father, that they would just trust in your word and believe and know that you have a plan for them and all things work together for the good. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys, so the scriptures that I will be reading um, are Jeremiah 29 and 11, um, I spoke about this one a few weeks ago, well, a few videos ago, um, but we're bringing it back. And then um, I have Psalms um, 97 verses 11 and 12, and then Psalms um, 98 um, verse 1 and 2. So let's read um, Jeremiah first. All right. Jeremiah 29, verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. So I spoke about this last time, but I'm going to bring it back yet again. Um, it literally tells you, gives the answers to the plan. God says here um, that he has plans to prosper you and it's not to harm you it's plans to give you a hope and a future so he's telling you these plans are to prosper you they are not to harm you um sometimes whenever things happen where you're like oh god why are you putting me through this or um why are you tempting me one god does not tempt us one god is never going to um, take us through anything that we cannot um, handle through him um, the Lord gives us instruction as long as we have our ears open to receive what he's saying um, and be reminded of his word. Um, this is why it's important to read his word so that we know how to walk about, um, you know, daily living through all circumstances. If you're not reading the word of God, then you don't know what is being instructive, instructed of you. And, um, you know, if you're not reading the manual, then how are you going to know how that thing works? Wherever you buy something, um, it comes with instructions. It comes with a manual um, on how to function that device or that toy or whatever it may be, uh, that vehicle, that, you know, new product that you just got. They put the instructions on there for a reason. They put the ingredients on there for a reason. They put warnings on there. And, um, you know, all the telltale caution things that you should be aware of at, you know, whenever it comes to using whatever the thing is, you know, think of it as the same way with the word of God. You know, this is our manual on how to walk about life with God, with Jesus and with the Holy Ghost. We have to read so that we can get knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Well, first comes you know, the knowledge of the thing, then he's going to give you understanding, and then you can apply it to your life, and it comes to wisdom. So, yes, whatever you're going through, it's not meant to harm you. It's meant to give you, honestly, in the testing, I believe it is to show what is really inside of you. What do you really believe and trust in God for, you know? How much of this word do you really believe in and see as truth? So, yeah, um, let's go to Psalms. Okay. I love Psalms. Literally, so good. So, so, so good. I encourage everybody, like, it's just... It's just easy reads, honestly, and there's so many books, and, like, it's just really cool. Um, it's just reinforcement and encouragement. You know, when I read these, it, the Psalms, the books of Psalms, uh, 
it just gives me a different type of fire and excitement. So, yes, let's go to um, Psalms 97, and I'm reading verse 11 and 12. Light shines on the righteous, and joy on the upright in heart. Rejoice in the Lord, you who are righteous, and praise his holy name. So whenever I see this in conjunction with um, Jeremiah 29 and 11, it reminded me of whatever I'm in that situation, circumstance, whatever it may be, remember, you know, um, whatever realm you take action in, you know, whether it's your flesh, whether it's the spirit, that's what you're going to get your answer from. And um, we want to make sure we heed the word of God and we cling on to that tightly in that testing moment because you know this word of truth is only going to bring about truth that is going to be the result so you speak truth you're going to get truth back and it's always going to be for your good it may be difficult sometimes but it's always for your good and I believe like sometimes like whenever things are getting tested in my own personal life, um, it's only challenging and difficult because it's unfamiliar to me because I know how to walk this thing out in the worldly way. But now that I am really beginning to shift gears and be obedient to the word of God and not only just read it and get like the, un you know, understanding knowledge and wisdom from it, but actually putting it to action in my life, um, in those in those moments and like using it it's different it's unfamiliar so that's why it seems like it's difficult um but i remember that you know in those trials the light is shining and i am the righteous one okay and i will have joy i will count it all joy whenever those trials and tests come because my heart is upright before the lord and i am surrendering everything to him so all will be well in all the circumstances, no matter how my flesh may tell me how I'm feeling. Um, no, I am the righteousness of Christ and all things are gonna work together for my good because that's what the Father promised me. I am going to rejoice. I am going to be joyful and I'm gonna be thankful because the Lord is protecting me. He is guiding me in every situation um, and it's all for his glory. So I just wanted to share these two scriptures with you guys just to remind you that one, you have to walk in step with the Father. Seek, heed, and take action according to the Word of God. So, and whatever the situation may be, you have to go seeking the Father first. Okay? Take heed to what He's saying to you. And then when He tells you to take action, take action in the power, authority, and dominion that He has gifted you. Do not let the enemy steal anything. He's taken enough already, okay? So trust in the word of God because it is truth. It is life. And from that, God is going to get the glory. He is going to lift you up. He is going to uh, just show you another side of himself, of how you can trust him, you can believe, and you will see his plan unfold in your life. And it'll be way beyond what you could have created in your own, you know, fleshly ways. It'll far exceed what you thought, you know. So just trust him. Believe in him. Um, I wanted to define these few words that popped out to me whenever um, he gave me the walk and step with the Father. Seek, heed, and, and act according to the word of God. Um, the word seek, heed, and act popped out to me, and I'm going to give you the definition of those. Um, heed, it says, pay attention and take notice of. So in that moment of whatever the trial may be, pay attention. Be slow to speak, okay? Don't always have to pop off and say whatever you think needs to be said. Don't do that, okay? Then it says, um... Pay attention, well, heed, pay attention and take action. And then, um, no, I read that wrong. Heed, 
pay attention and take notice of. The word notice popped out to me and it defines as um, the fact of observing, observing or paying attention to something, notification or warning. So whenever I've seen that, it's you're looking not with your um, natural eyes, but spiritually, you're discerning what is happening here. What does the Father want me to do? What is he notifying me and warning me about in this circumstance right now? Now, the word action, okay? There's the verb and then there's the noun. So the verb of um, act, excuse me, the verb of act is take action, something done. No. Action verb, okay, it says take action, do something. So that act word is you actively doing something. You actively believing and standing in that moment of the circumstance. Okay, and then you have act, the noun, is it's already done. That thing is done. All right, you've standed on it, and you've declared the word of God, and you've seen the manifestation of the word in act, in action, in that circumstance, and the Lord got the glory. Okay, and now I want to um, just remind you that in all these notes, I'm going to leave in the description so that it's a little bit easier to follow step by step. Um, it doesn't seem like I'm just throwing all of this at you. But um, in all of this, I just want you to remember that whenever it comes to literally walking with the Lord and letting Him lead you, you, you know, have to intentionally <laughs> put this word to action, okay? It's one thing to just read it and just read um, the verses in here, you know, and memorize it, but it's another thing to discern and rightly divide this word and use it in your life on the daily basis like he tells us to. This word isn't just to for inter our entertainment. This is where this word is for us to actually live it out. Okay? And let our lives be a witness. Continue to let your life be the witness even in the trial you know find joy actually the joy is already there you don't have to find it because it's something that's already been imparted in you so have peace in knowing that in those hard moments whether it's through a song whether it's through your community whether it's through journaling and literally just walking that thing out and trusting God um, and just feeling his presence with you in that moment you're gonna make it through as long as you continue to know who you are in Christ. Do not let the enemy um, steal what the Lord has called you to. You know, he has told you who you are in him. He has given you and told you his promises and his plans for you. You may not know every detail, but what he has given you is enough and stand on that and trust him no matter what things look like. He said all things work together for the good. So I just wanted to share this with you guys this week. Walk in step with him, okay? Walk in step with the Father. Seek him, heed, and take action according to the word. Not according to Noel, not according to whoever you may be that is listening at this moment. According to the word of God, Stand, 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 and trust. All right, guys, be blessed and have a great um, week, weekend, whenever you're seeing this. All things are working together for your good. I'm going to leave all the notes down below and all my little um, tidbits that he may give to me even after. I'm going to go back over this again next week to um, just be encouraged, and I'll see you guys in the next video, okay? Bye.